let's compare the misclassification rate of these two trees over here, these two decision trees. So the idea is that yeah, for each individual data sample that we put in, we um, compute which class it would be assigned. And um, the way this works is that in the end, for each of these um, nodes, these leaf nodes, we would assign a single class that we would um, yeah, assign in any case. So basically, um, this is a majority rule if you want. So our best guess over here, if something gets classified into this um, leaf node, would be uh, it's the same class as this three, so the green class, uh, class two over here. And this also means that all those values that are marked here as the two gray values, C1, would be marked wrongly. So, um, yeah, this adds up to our misclassification rate. So, if, if we want to write this here, for our data set, then we can write it the following way. So, basically, two in this case would be misclassified. In this case, uh, our best majority rule guess would be the class that has four in here, so three would be misclassified. Over here we would get no misclassifications and over here as well. And to get a rate we divide this by the cardinality of our uh, total data set and this is 24, so the sum of these values. And um, yeah, this is 5 divided by 24. Let's have a look at this case over here. So for T2, here we get one misclassification, here we get another one, here also one, and here also one. So here we have 4 divided by 24. So it's a bit lower, so in the end the tree T2 has a lower misclassification rate. 